I still love the centro. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, the song soon. Well, I'm gonna press start. Unfortunately, I don't want to see the cutscene. Hey there, everyone. This is Outcap. Yeah. All right. Hey. So remember Sonic Adventure? That is the actual first game to get DLC. And I just kind of brushed over so that before. Buy. I'm not sure why, but we're going to change that today. Hey there, everyone. It's Outcap playing Sonic Adventure. We're gonna play the DLC. When I first heard, like, I knew there was Christmas DLC. And I thought this was gonna be just like this, like, really short little one-off. But turns out that no, there's like a dozen different Select DLC things. Character. Okay, you're sounding scary. Let's get him. So, just a little basic information on DLC on Sonic Adventure. First of all, all the DLC is free. Uh, basically, like, there was not like a DLC store or whatever. What happened was that you had to like go on the internet using the like Dreamcast browser and download directly to your VMU. It was something pretty nuts. Another thing to realize is that space is extremely small. You basically had... Yeah! This is Disney. <laughs> this is the Dreamcast launch! Yeah! $9999! Uh, yeah, so the DLC has to fit in a VMU. You know, rubbing shoulders with the memory, the save of the game, the Chow Garden, and any other save you might have in the game. So I feel like a lot of it is kind of like that. I oh, see they added balloons everywhere. There it says Sega Dreamcast on that building. Wowie Zowie, you know, that's what I call. Look at that, there's a Dreamcast logo on the balloon. Did you ever see the Dreamcast logo before? Well, that's how it looks like when it's on a balloon. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, that's a car, and it's freaking out. Is there anything here? There it says Dreamcast, and there it says Burger Zone. Is there a sign that the mayor... Yeah, it's Sega Dreamcast Mayor! Now with Gumption. By the way, I'm playing Sonic Adventure DX port on Steam. You can find something called uh, SADX, which is a uh, mod that basically it's a mod manager uh, in order to make the game more like the, uh, the, the Dreamcast version. But it also comes with uh, other things, such as, for example, this the DLC. So you can get all this, and you can check it out for yourself. Is there gonna be anything here? Was that a Central Square only thing? Like, I, I don't know. I'm gonna go in this cannon and find out, but no, I think it was a Central Square only thing. Oh. Like I said, the, um, hmm, yeah. Look at that boat, though. Now, the issue, I can change. Um, DLC, but I need to turn off the game and turn it back on again. But I think for this, it's extremely worth it because nothing happened. Oh my gosh, it's Christmas 1998! Yeah! Oh! What's with the, all my games these days it's being Christmas flavored? Beautiful. I love this. Celebrate Christmas by the flickering tree. Oh, now it replaces the music entirely. There you go, this big old tree. Is there anything else in the. Like, I've got, like, this guy to tell me what these do, and that's pretty much it. Then you get run over by a taxi. Not even a reindeer. Hey, look at that. They added this tree. Careful not to eat too much cake! Too much dental floss, though. Go crazy. Ah! Are you sure about that? Is that true? I mean, that is some wild new information you're bringing here, mysterious narrator. But it's Christmas time. You should have a ton of people clamoring for your small, boxy robot toys. Uh, one of them is red, and the other one is blue. I swear some of them have things that happen, but... The early ones... They're what they call pretty good. Oh man, Christmas was pretty wild, but what about New Year? Look at that bamboo. 
Keromatsu! Uh, I think it's a Japanese exclusive one in 998 and brought back 999. There's two versions because apparently you couldn't finish Knuckles' story if you had this DLC installed the first time. Take your chow. I don't know if they'll like you bring a chow over. And then, yeah, make your pets race for you while you celebrate New Year. That's not weird at all. Let's see if there's anything here. More. I mean, this is some nice music. <laughs> I think today is gonna be these three, but I think going forward, there's they're gonna involve actually doing things. It's just doing things. Whoa, yours is just the last message as last time, but you add rice to cake. You fool. And yeah, and in the casino area, two more were added. Uh, so let's go check out on that action. Look, man, I don't care. This is real silly. This is a nice change of pace for me. <laughs> the train headed for the so yeah, you got the train zone. Soon. Um. Yeah, it's just looking at the thing here, like 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 my summary, and it's really mentioning Station Square. So should be something here. Yeah, here, little bear. Is that a bear or a crab? A sun? Well, I didn't read that because I was too busy naming animal and things. Uh, Okay. Oh, that's kind of funny, actually. Yeah, Kazanopolis is like, we're a, we're a business. We put signs. Uh, we gotta show that we're actually people. That you go inside to buy things. That sky is a real fake color blue, but there's also a weird stain on it. Man, Sonic Adventure was so good. I still think it's probably the best 3D Sonic, just in terms of overall feel. Like, this real feels real nice. So yeah, um, this is a weird showing, but I swear, this is gonna go places.